Chapter 5 Stop Harming Yourself The Habituated Automatic Response Mechanism H-A-R-M Addiction can be described as a habituated automatic response mechanism. The cyclic execution of a set of subliminal mental strategies that are designed to transport us from inner turmoil to a psychological sanctuary. The chosen method of transportation being the substance of choice. For example, heroin, cocaine, or in our case, alcohol. Our harm, H-A-R-M, operates as follows. Feel fear. Drink. Feel guilt. Drink. Feel pain. Drink. Feel bored. Drink. On encountering one of these primary triggers, our unconscious strategies are automatically executed and propel us towards oblivion. To illustrate how the process works, let's take the example of flying an aircraft. At the flick of a switch, a pilot can put an aircraft into autopilot mode, a navigational mechanism that automatically maintains a preset course. The course is governed by a set of instructions that have been programmed into the aircraft's computer system. Although the aircraft is under the temporary control of the computer system, the pilot maintains ultimate control. To avert disaster, he can turn off the autopilot system and resume manual control at any point in time. Metaphorically speaking, the same principle applies to addiction. Our habituated automatic response mechanism is a preset list of mental instructions that sets us on a predetermined course of destruction. It is comprised of the following three components. A trigger, maladaptive core beliefs, desired outcome. 1. A trigger. The autopilot switch, a stimulus that switches a person from rational, conscious, processing to destructive unconscious processing. Alcoholism is triggered by an internal or external event which activates a need for escape. Triggers manifest in four fundamental ways. Fear, guilt, pain, or futility. All other manifestations are derivatives of these. Example. Fear trigger. First light pierces the curtains. Robert fidgets restlessly in his sweat-saturated bed. He is paralyzed with fear as persecutory thoughts bombard his mind. What happened last night? Who did I insult? Did I embarrass myself? Was I aggressive? Did I get into trouble? Fear and paranoia escalate, and his shaking hands reach for his trousers, which are strewn beside his bed. Has he got any money? He needs to banish the persecution from his mind. He cannot bear it. He needs to escape. He needs alcohol. In this example, Robert's need for escape is a direct result of alcoholic amnesia, blackout. He cannot remember the previous night, which gives rise to persecutory thoughts that warrant escape. Fear acts as the autopilot, switch, handing control of his rational, conscious mind over to an adversely conditioned part of his unconscious mind, which houses the next stage of the harm, the maladaptive core beliefs, the ism. 2. Maladaptive Core Beliefs. The ism. Remember the suffix ism means a set of beliefs relating to whatever precedes it. In our case, alcohol. So alcoholism is defined as a set of beliefs relating to alcohol. Understanding this stage of the harm is crucial in our quest to alleviate alcoholism. As a fruit never re-ripens once it has decomposed, so the core beliefs of alcoholism never return to fruition after a person has crossed the abreactive threshold. If you consume a fruit that's past its sell-by date, it is liable to poison you. 
Likewise, if you adhere to the maladaptive beliefs central to alcoholism, once you have crossed the abreactive threshold, the point at which alcohol induces an abnormal reaction, they will poison your mind. Herein lies the problem. People do adhere to these beliefs after crossing the threshold. When people encounter a situation that warrants escape, they regress to the past and remember the impact that alcohol used to have on their minds, not the impact it has now. This is why I refer to the core beliefs as maladaptive. They have never been adapted to reflect the destructive impact of alcohol on the mind currently. After crossing the abreactive threshold, these beliefs no longer hold true. They become destructive myths that seduce you into relapse. Destructive Myths Alcohol will improve the way I feel. Alcohol will improve my state of mind. Alcohol will eradicate my pain, fear, and guilt. Alcohol will put the excitement back into my feudal life. Alcohol will instill confidence and enhance my sociability. Alcohol will relax me. Alcohol is a cure for all problems. So now we have the trigger, an event that warrants escape, which leads to the seductive lore of the core beliefs, which leads to the third stage of the harm, the desired outcome. 3. Desired Outcome Alleviation of Problems Escape Every mental strategy has an intended outcome. The final mission of the harm is to transport the mind to a better place, a psychological sanctuary. This pursuit can be summed up in one word, escapism. Thus, the person reaches for the bottle. Unfortunately, however, after crossing the abreactive threshold, the promise of escape via the bottle turns out to be nothing other than a seductive scam. Drink no longer transports the person from the undesirable state evoked by the trigger to the psychological sanctuary promised by the core beliefs. It transports them into hell. The goal of every addiction is to transport the mind to a better place, a psychological sanctuary. In the formative stages, it may succeed. However, habitual use leads to the initiation of dormant forces, which, on awakening, transform heaven into hell. Summary Addiction and autopilot mode are very similar. Both are comprised of a set of programmed instructions that are designed to transport you from one place to another. With addiction, the destination is psychological, and the instructions are programmed into your unconscious mind. Alcohol is a vehicle that is designed to transport you from inner turmoil to a psychological sanctuary. Whenever you encounter fear, futility, pain, or guilt, the triggers you switch from conscious functioning to a preset list of unconscious instructions. The subliminal directives then act as a navigational system to steer you towards the goal of escape. However, after crossing the abreactive threshold, the system begins to malfunction and you find yourself being transported into the past when alcohol functioned in a different way, a time when the core beliefs held true. You drink in the belief that alcohol will alleviate your problems, but it exacerbates them and mental mayhem ensues. However, as a pilot can resume manual control of the aircraft at any point in time, so you can regain control of your life at any time. By bringing your hidden destructive patterns out into the light of consciousness, you can process and eradicate them. Are you ready to avert disaster, turn off the autopilot system, and resume control of your life?